Hello dreamers, welcome back. So today I'm doing a short share of some items that I have been going through for my dollhouse miniatures that I might be um, doing and placing into my buttercup. So before I do that, these are just some of the options that I have to do a autumn or a Halloween theme. Um, this is a chest that was painted by my daughter. So I could use that, put that there. And in here, I have some more options. I have this for an autumn look. I have this painting that I won. When I used to have, what is it called? The Foxy, what is it called? Uh, it was an autumn theme. Um, it was an autumn theme box I used to get. And this is an actual painting by Jay Mandrick, uh, 2019. This is called Autumn Fire. Absolutely beautiful. And it's an actual painting by an artisan. And I won it. So I was super happy. And it has the certificate and everything on here. So that's an option for a room. Here we go, put that here, that's an option. Then um, I do have some of these. So I have some of these really pretty uh, lamps. This one is missing the little tupper. As you can tell it's missing. I'll probably find it eventually. <laughs> but there you go. I have some options with some little Maybe I should put it there. There we go. With some little lamps. If I want to change up the lamp scenario. And here's some flowers that I created with some macrame beads. And um, some flowers that I picked up. I think these were from um, Michael's. And then I just shoved them in there as you could tell. Just no muss, no fuss. And I shoved several of, several of them in there. And it gives a really nice look for like a room. Then this was actually gifted to me many, many, many moons ago. And when I used to do dollhouse miniature swaps, ooh, man, that was like 20 plus years ago, but I still have them, at least most of them, the ones that haven't gotten damaged. Um, so this is beautiful and I can put that up on the wall. Some more options, I have these. Um, someone sent that to me in a swap as well. It's really pretty, like a little rug. Then I have this handmade rug. That's an option. Then I have this beautiful, I came across it going through my things, this beautiful um, curtain. Because that room does have a curtain in the buttercup, so only one window in that one side of the room. But um, yeah. That's what it looks like. And these are really expensive to get. I was on eBay and oh boy, they're asking an arm and a leg for these. I don't know how to make these myself. So this is like a true treasure for me. It really, it really is. So let me put this here so you guys can admire it. Just the same way I do for the workmanship that it goes into to create these. I, I just don't, I don't have that in me. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it, but they're beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful. Okay. Then here's a rain chair. Now these are, um, take a seat by rain. And these are really expensive. And, uh, I remember when I got this, I only had picked up one at the time. And I wish I would have picked up two because now they, they cost so much to get, but this is a resin chair. And it's really pretty. So that might be an option for my room. I'll leave it out here so you guys can look at it. Hopefully you can guys can see it. Then um, I do have these little serving trays. Okay, so we'll put the serving trays. This one's bigger than the other. So I'll put the serving trays right here. Then I came across this pie that was gifted to me. So that would be a nice little one for a table to have a pie on a table. Then um, 
my person likes to, yeah, they, they like to do that. So there you go. I thought that that would be a cute little thing to have. Here's a smaller little plant. Oh, it's so small. The bead is so tiny. There we go. So we can have little plants here and there. This one is falling. It's not working with me. So we'll put it right there on the bottom. Okay. Then here's another option for a rug. This one also was gifted to me 20 plus years ago. Love it. Love that rug. And this was something I found within my stash. A little basket with apples. Apples actually do come out. Um, so, got to be careful with those. <laughs> but it's still really cute. Then if I wanted to change um, some cushions just to give it a little autumn vibe feel, I have these that were gifted to me in a swap from many, many moons ago. Then this also was a swap right here. Um, it goes like that, like an apple. It was like an apple theme swap. And they created the little uh, teapot that looks like an apple and that's the holder it sits on. So I thought that that might work. Then this also was gifted to me in a swap 20 plus years ago. This beautiful plant that somebody created. Love it. So another, you know, another room piece to make the room look nice. Then um, I do have, of course, my serving ware that I can, you know, put some little teacups and little plates on the table if I want to, to make it seem like they're about to eat that pie, that delicious pie. And uh, maybe just one plate, like they're about to cut it. Then um, in here, very quickly, I have some, these are more Halloween-ish style items, like true Halloween-ish style items. Um, here's like a cape. Here's some notes. These are some pieces of metal. Here's a witch's hat made out of paper. Here's a dress because witches like to go out dancing. They do. They like to have a good time. Then we have like this little vignette here that I might be able to introduce. This might be a good one for like a kitchen, but it has a little spider, not a little spider, pretty big spider, but still kind of cool looking, right? Then I do have different pumpkins. Then I have these really scary looking ones. Remember when these came out in Michael's? Yeah, I got these really creepy looking ones from Michael's back in the day. Who remembers these? Yeah, I think those are the only kind. So those are really creepy looking. Yeah, I have those. Then I have a little doll. Somebody made that for me in a swap. And then I have these little scary faces. Tiny skeleton scroll. I've got a witch's broom. I got little bags because witches like to go shopping too, honey. Yes, they do. They like to get their shop on. They do. Then I got this little scary pillow that somebody created. Then this with the candy with the hand coming out of it and from a bowl. Look at that. Got that. Then I have this little, looks like a bead, but you can use it as a bowl. And um, I got this scary one here. I got a pot. This is like a heavy iron pot. Then I got this little face mask thing. And then I got some more little like, you know, pumpkins and things like that in here. Now I could have sworn that I had a, a big pot. I guess I left my pot. I had a bigger pot, like a witch's pot. And then I have this too for like autumn-ish, you know. But these are some of the options that I have that I wanted to share with you that I'm going to do with my buttercup and see how I want to change it up. I just have to move my buttercup over and move some things around. So maybe I'll be able to do that for you guys tomorrow. So make sure you come back 
and I'll talk to you guys later. If you guys know anywhere where I could find some of these really beautiful style um, curtains at a reasonable price, please let me know. Give me the name, the link, you know, online. Who is it? Because <laughs> I would love to be able to buy some of those for my houses. Um, as long as they're reasonably priced because um, they go for a lot of money. Okay, so thank you so much, you guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.